Huh. Beauty and the Berrykin Beast? Nah, Berrykins are too cute to play beasts. The very sleepy Berrykin Princess. Huh. Hiya, Plum. Uh, I'm still trying to find the perfect berry fairy tale to do as a surprise play for the Berrykin kids. Well, I just heard they have a favorite story. They do? Which one is it? Wait, don't tell me. Is it Goldilocks and the Three Berrykins? I'm not. Wait, wait. The Berry Frog Prince? Uh, no, but I... Wait, I, I know this, I know. Uh, uh, it's Little Red Berry Riding Hood. Um... Jack and the Berry Stock? I don't... Uh, I give up. Which story is it? I don't know. What? I thought you said the baby Berrykins have a favorite story. Well, they do. I just don't know which one it is. Oh, well, we can't ask them. It'll spoil the surprise. How do we find out? <gasps> I think I know who to ask. <laughs> See you next time. Thank you for the very beautiful berry. Strawberry? I got your text. <laughs> I just read them their favorite berry fairy tale today. It's the littlest berrykin. <laughs> of course you can borrow it. Come on over. And they lived happily ever after. I love it! So cute! I've never heard that story before. Do you know if there's ever been a play version of it published? Let's do a search. Hmm. I don't see that there has. Well, could you and Huck adapt this story to a play for me? Of course! Oh, this is going to so be great! Excited. Huck, I know just the berry fairy tale to turn into a play. So, welcome all to the first reading of our version of The Littlest Berrykin. Use your imaginations to picture the story. Imagine our stage and a backdrop like this. The narrator begins. Orange, this will be your part. Once upon a time, there was a king and queen, played by me and Blueberry. The king and queen were ready to retire to the tropics, but before departing, it was necessary to pick one of their three daughters to rule the kingdom. It all began one day as the princesses were playing croquet. Of course, they'll pick me. I'm the oldest. Well, you are the oldest, but that doesn't mean you are best fit to rule. The obvious choice is me. Oh, it's hot. I'm roasting out here. Sorry, Your Royal Highness. Is that better, Princess Respelina? Cooler now, Your Royal Highness. Well, I am the prettiest. Therefore, it should stand to reason Mummy and Daddy will pick me. Your turn, Strawberryta. Hurry up, little sister. Hmm. Oh, she's so slow. They'll never pick her. You're not so speedy yourself, Lemonella. Well, I love berries. I've never heard such nonsense. Oh. Well done. Oh, you did. Oh, so <laughs> Thank you. I think she cheated. My thoughts exactly. Lemonella, how can they be your thoughts when they were my thoughts and my thoughts first? Razbelina, just because you told me your thoughts first doesn't mean you thought them first. Uh, you are such a dunderhead. Mummy and Daddy will never pick you to rule the kingdom. There is no other choice but me, because I am the choice that is best. <laughs> Sisters, please. <gasps> There's no need to fight. Our royal parents will make the best choice, and whichever of us they choose, the others of us will support. Are you a cuckoo berry? I've had enough of this. Let's go ask them now. <sighs> and so the impatient princesses, Lemonella and Rasbelina, asked the king and queen if they had come to a decision. Huh? Who, who are you? What? Yeah. Uh. Well, what you waiting for? Have you decided to give the kingdom to me, or what? <gasps> Is that any way to speak to your royal parents? Uh, whatever. Hmm. How should we speak anyway? Good 
afternoon, Your Majesties. Like your sister, Princess Strawberryta. She's always so respectful. She cheats at croquet. Yes, that's right. She sure does. <gasps> now, princesses, your mother and I have made a decision. <sighs> it's about time. Give me that crown. <gasps> Do you mind? <clears throat> Our decision is this. <clears throat> Whichever one of you can bring us back the Royal Goldenberry will be awarded the kingdom. What? Royal Golden Who? <gasps> well, I never... Better get started. It's a long and challenging journey to find the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> well, what are you waiting for? Go fetch me that berry. Don't listen to her. Go fetch me the berry. The berry is mine, so mine it must be. Perhaps you weren't listening, my dear daughters. You must fetch the royal golden berry yourselves. You each may bring only one berry kin in waiting with you. <sighs> oh. You! That's right, you! <coughs> Step lively, you're coming with me. Y yes, your highness. That's your royal highness to you, buster. Um, yep, sure thing. Anything to say, your your high royalness, royal highness? You there! Let's get going! Excuse me, your royal highness. I'd be happy to help you find the royal goldenberry, but you might not want me, because everyone knows <laughs> I'm the littlest berrykin. Littlest Barrican, I would be honored if you would help me. And so, each accompanied by their Barrican in waiting, the princesses set off on their journey. A journey that is sure to reveal who is real ruler material. The princesses are soon confronted by the first in a series of challenges. The road through the berry patch is blocked by a toll gate guarded by a troll gatekeeper. Uh, the troll will be played by Barrican Bloom. Uh, diamonds, jack of diamonds, <laughs> snarls and flea bites. What I need is a queen. But oh no, that won't work now. <gasps> oh. Hey, what's the big idea? Well, now, you see, a uh, toll. Please. Look here, troll. Do you know who we are? I am Princess Raspolina. And I am Princess Lemonella. You must do as we say. Raise that bar. Let us pass. I command you as a royal princess. That's right. Mm. Do as you're told, toll troll. But you must pay the toll. Listen, toll who takes the troll. I order you to do as we say. Mm, oh my. In all my days as the troll who takes the toll, have I ever been treated in such a rude and unbecoming manner. The haughty princesses huff and puff and kick at the ground like goats, snorting and barking in an ever so unbecoming manner, and still refuse to pay the toll to the troll. <laughs> <laughs> They say... Who needs your silly road anyway? We will find our own way! And what do you suppose? But they got stuck in a bramble bush. The troll who takes the toll could hear the princesses doing all kinds of mean and nasty yelling from the bramble bush. Hmm. Very unfitting for princesses indeed. Not another one. Oh, my! A toll booth. Mm, what shall I do? I cannot pay the toll. Well, we'll have to go around. If you don't mind a suggestion? Not at all, little Asparagin. Maybe if you ask the troll nicely? Excuse me, sir. Uh -huh. I haven't a token, but I have a long journey and don't know any other way through the berry patch. If you let me through, I promise to return another time and pay you the toll. Well, that's more like it. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, thank you, sir. Ever so kindly. <laughs> thank you, and come again. 
Presently, Princess Strawberryta and the littlest Berrykin arrived at a vast lake with no way across. But the littlest Berrykin happened to notice a boat Berrykin, who will be played by Princess Berrykin, pulled up at the dock. You must be hungry, littlest Berrykin. Perhaps we should have our picnic here, then walk around the lake. If you wouldn't mind a suggestion? Of course not. Perhaps if you offer to share our lunch with the captain, she'll take us across the lake in her boat. That's a very nice idea. We should share our lunch with her either way. <sighs> huh? Huh? Ahoy! Huh? I hope we didn't wake you, ma'am. Why no, me lasses. Just taking a wee nap. I am Strawberryta, and this is the littlest Berrykin. Would you like to share our picnic? It's such a nice day for one. Arr! And that's mighty generous of you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Mildewed myrtle berries! How are we supposed to get across this lake? Order that scroungy old captain to take us. Good idea. I had that idea too. I just didn't say it as fast as you. Hmm. Ahoy, me hearties. Ahoy, your highnesses, don't you mean? Highness or lowness making a difference to me. I just had a lunch when I make a salty sea captain do a hornpipe on a yard arm. Arr! So, have you brought me dinner? Dinner? My daddy the king will feed you to the fishes if you don't take us across this lake in your boat, if you can call that a boat, at once. Oh, shiver me timbers! Belay that talk! Who do you think you lovers be in your long clothes dressing me about? We are royal princesses! Permission to come aboard? Arr! What kind of rig you trying to run? And you don't even offer me any grub, like that charming lass what set sail to yon far shore for ye. Arr! Oh, no! Huh? Oh, did you hear that, Rasbolina? Strawberryta was here ahead of us. Mm, sour berries. If you took her across, you simply have to take us. Arg! What care I if ye be marooned? I'm tardy for a game of darts at the jib and topsail. Gangway, ye horn swabbers! Wait! Come back! Now what? You two clowns, get in here and row us across. Uh, but that's stealing. That boat doesn't belong to us. We are princesses. Everything belongs to us. Now get in. Huh? Move over! I want to sit in front! Oh, there's no room for you! <laughs> now look what you did! Me? Yes, you! <laughs> Look, little Asparikin, it's the royal golden berry. Ooh, pretty. Ooh. Mm. Oh, this is going to be very difficult. These poor plants, they need water. Your Highness, if you wouldn't mind another suggestion. Please, come with me. Look! The Royal Golden Berry! Royal Raspberries! We got here before Strawberryta! Well, go up there and get it for me! For you? You mean for me! <laughs> What are you waiting for? Chop, chop! Chop, chop! <gasps> I know! Whoa! Uh, hey! I said chop, chop! It's my idea! Get out of my way! Uh, Your Highness? Raw ones? 
We don't treat berry plants that way. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Crumbs. The Royal Highnesses, Your Majesties. Mommy, it's not fair. <laughs> it's all her fault. She told me to go around the toll booth. It was my barricade of waiting. She wouldn't do what I told her. I want a do-over. Yes, we demand a do-over. Now, daughters, calm down. Have either of you the Royal Goldenberry? Well done, Strawberita. Ever so clever of you, darling. Aw! In each of your challenges, you showed kindness, generosity, and resourcefulness. All virtues becoming to a ruler of a kingdom. She cheated! She didn't show any of those... those... things! Yeah! Things! Whatever! She cheated! We know! We were there! As was I. <gasps> The troll who takes the toll was kind enough to give us a report of your behavior. Lemonella, Rasbolina, I am ashamed by your lack of manners. He wasn't even there when we had to cross the lake. Oh, but I was. <gasps> Toss me overboard and sink me. It's pure bilge they speak. These two swabs were very rude. Well, Princess Strawberryta was a sweet lass who shared her lunch with a sea dog. I'd scupper those two scallywags and promote this lass to captain. I... Uh, excuse me, Your Majesties, but I cannot take credit for the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> <gasps> you see, there was someone who guided me all along the way and gave me good advice, and that was the littlest barricade. <sighs> This royal goldenberry should belong to you. <gasps> who? What? Who are you? I am the royal goldenberry fairy, and I know everything about you, Princess Strawberryta. You are not only kind, giving, and clever, and humble. Did I mention honest? Well, honest, too. By giving credit where credit is due, you have passed the final test and proved that it is <gasps> you who are worthy to rule the kingdom. <laughs> Aw, they have been bears. royally spoiled! Hmm. Well, darling, it's off to the islands. Oh, 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 I can help you with that. Wow, wow, take your bags. No problem at all. Well, okay. <laughs> Thank you, my beloved royal subjects. My first royal decree is to promote the littlest barricade to royal counselor. Hooray! And so, the littlest barricade proved that it doesn't matter how little you are, you can still do very big things. And so... Under the kind, generous, wise, and humble rule of Queen Strawberryta, the kingdom flourished and everybody lived... 
very happily ever after. Well, not quite everybody. You told me we'd reach a stellar kingdom run by a knockout prince by nightfall, and it's getting dark now. I said no such thing. That was your idea. It wasn't. I'm hungry. It was. This is your fault and your fault only. I'm very excited to get started. Now that we've tackled batter basics and basics of very flawless baking, I am certain you are prepared for today's class. Creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah! Let's do it! Woohoo! It's on! I've got our ingredients. Flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So, let the baking begin! Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor, mmm, <laughs> and apple fragrance. Mmm. Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. <laughs> Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. Hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. It's just a little something I call the Sparkle Straw Water Pine Berry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! Yes! Goodness. Well, all right then. Everyone step up. Here you go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy! Mmm. It's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon? Grape? No. Oh, uh, strawberry. And yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a scent sensation. I've got to fashion a fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berry Kid, uh, please try some. Ahem. This sparkle straw water pine berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrican Bloom Day with a ceremony in his honor. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Berrican Bloom, after all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my bitty orchard. Oh, he's so humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Ooh. Great idea! What can we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Cherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea! Perfect, Raspberry! I love it! But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know! Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun! That's perfect! Great idea, Strawberry! Let's get back to baking!
Jack and Boom supplies all the Berry Bitty produce from my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever. How to make this cupcake special for Barakin Bloom? Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh no, my jam! Where'd it go? Cupcake? Oh, those were all the jars I had. Oh, you're gonna have a tummy ache for sure. And I'm gonna have to restock all the jam in my cafe. to do. Anything about a little cupcake? You mean exactly how big is your cupcake going to be? I don't know, but Orange is making a huge one. She's using bags and bags of flour. Oh, you must have just misunderstood. Look at my cupcake. It's normal sized. I'm sure she's making one just like it. After all, how much cupcake can Barrack and Bloom eat? Hi, guys. How about the cupcake I made for Barrack and Bloom? Bouncing boysenberries, Orange! That's very gigantic! I know! <laughs> Isn't it great? Great? That's the hugest cupcake I've ever seen! Well, don't you think Barrack and Bloom deserves the most special cupcakes we can bake? Did someone mention my name? Yeah! Let's hide! It's Barrack and Bloom! Ah, there you are, Miss Strawberry. Oh, <laughs> yep, here we are, doing uh, nothing secret at all. That's right. Uh, not at all. We have nothing to hide. Did you ladies need me for something? I thought I heard my name. Nope, not me. Uh, not at all. Nuh-uh. Uh, you -uh. must have been someone else. Have a lovely day. Well, then, I suppose I'll be on my way, too. That is a very fine banana you have there, young lady. A very fine banana, indeed. Taking it out for some exercise. Come along, Waldo. Time to finish your walk. I never thought of exercising the produce. Or naming it. Hmm. I suppose Waldo is a lovely name for a banana. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so long. See you around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was too close. He almost found out our surprise. We've got to keep him away. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Keep him busy, I guess. But we're all too busy to keep him busy. We are, but I know someone who isn't. Wait, you want me to what? 
Just keep Barrack and Bloom busy. We can't let him see us making cupcakes. It'll spoil the surprise. We need a diversion. A diversion? That's a fancy way of saying distraction or keeping him busy. But how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Think of something. You're both guys. Why don't you do guy things? Guy things? I don't know. Like what? You're the guy. Figure it out. Hello there! <gasps> Here he comes now. A very fine day to you, young ladies. 